Hello and welcome back to another little Geeky Reviews. This time we are going to go through the cartoon collection. I managed to get my hands on the first wave. I did end up uh, going over to the Big Bad Toy Store, uh, which is based in America. And they came within less than two weeks, really, which was pretty good, I think. I was always debating whether I was going to go down this cartoon collection route until I seen all the different like accessories that came with it as well I thought I'd try the first wave I've started already on the second wave as well ordering them but I thought like I say let's go through the He-Man so they come in all of this new package art rather than the red it's got the castle behind there as well it's got a big 80s Adventures logo on there. I think that actually spoils the um, the front of it. I know this is like the USA card packing. But I have got Beastman as well. And that come with the Euro packing. And it doesn't come with all the logos. But... Where it's got like He-Man, it's got the most powerful man in the universe there. Instead of with Beast-Man, it doesn't have the little snippet of info underneath. I mean, on the back, it should have, what should it have? Um, Savage Henchman. So whether that's just on the USA variation of it, I don't know. But I don't know why they haven't put that on. It's on all the others. So, but, um, on the back, it's got the scenes of what cartoons they were seen on. So, as seen on Masks of Power. So, we know he comes there with a couple of actual swords as well. The usual little cross cells on the side. And the first wave of what they've come out with as well. So, let's crack this open. So it comes with the usual origins, like parts of what you can click and swap about with. And then the Mask of the Magi, Mask of the Magi comic. So let's see. So these little masks, they come with uh, the Skeletor release. Sorceress, we've I've just seen that coming out in the second wave as well, along with Mayman. I think it's the second wave, or is it the third? I'm sure, it's the second wave. Okay, so let's break him out of his plastic prison. So it's really just the head sculpt on this bad boy as well. The two swords that he actually comes with. And then I've just noticed it's got like a little sword holder. That just clips onto his back there. Slide his sword in. No shield with this version. Little gripper hand. Pop. So I'm loving the style of the actual um, armor brace as well that he's got on there. So the nice, it's like a, a matte grey, battleship grey with a, I think it's got a tint of blue in it or something. So articulation, it's got the same as all of the other origins. So his head all bubbles down. 360 arms turn out as well elbow joint wrist twist wobble back and forth we all know they all pop off in the middle and the actual arms pop off the head does pop off articulation legs back and forth 
they do splay out knee joint twist at the top of the boot cuff and then the elbow uh, at the elbow the foot at the at the uh, ankle twist bobble up and down as well so just bring in the first he-man release here you've got the cross in the center they haven't got the little red little cubes squares going round or anything and this, again the color is a more shiny type of I don't know whether it's not like glitter but it's it's definitely different the belt is just the plain orange and so is the gauntlets as well where these have got all like the little knoblets on his legs are a full new sculpt a lot more muscle definition in it and then his boots are just the full brown not the with the yellow rim over the top of it even his chest actually his chest is a full you can see his abs the difference in his abs there as well but the head sculpt itself I absolutely love this one although we've got the retro type of reminiscence with this guy this one is just I think it's on another level really with all of these cartoon collections coming out as well with it being this year 2024 at the end of the year you've got the um, Shira 40 year celebration as well supposedly so I think we're gonna see over these next few months like four being released maybe every other month or whatever to get a good collection up and come the October November of this year I reckon we're gonna start seeing the Shira cartoon collection origins line as well so touch wood fingers crossed we will end up getting them along with the the castle um the Shira castle as well the crystal castle so not only for us go through he-man with you i did end up getting the real ghostbusters fearsome flush as well another retro little toy here so it says roll to open and close lids and reveal a fearsome ghost round the back again just like little cross cells the ecto one there i have got that up for review i've um i've scheduled the days i can't remember but i have got that so that is coming another little figure here as well with the big eyeball i think it's like the eyeball ghost or something it came out as yeah bug eye ghost there it is i haven't got that one yet but let's just pretty uh, standard basic packaging but let's crack this open so it's literally just got the wheels on there and as you roll it it's got the big poppy out tongue it's on like a little hinge flipper and then the eyes look at those eyeballs <laughs> pop out the cistern at the back and then it's got this like little funky thing going on underneath the actual lid of it as well and the little yellow teeth pretty basic standard but simple toilet <laughs> and then blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so it has got the little ghostbusters logo on the lid of the toilet as well but <laughs> let's see if cartoon he-man <laughs> can take a dump <laughs> Oh. Nah, he doesn't really bend out. 
let's move that because that just clips off the back of He-Man as well as we know there you go I think I can put that in Castle Grayskull <laughs> down in the uh, little dungeon section <laughs> so while he just takes a little <laughs> five minutes release <laughs> Okay guys, so there's my little quick review for the cartoon collection He-Man. Let me know your thoughts of you being collecting this. Are you going to collect it? Or is it not one for you? Is it a, is it a pass? I, like I said, I, I was going to pass on it, but I started seeing the accessories along with some of the cartoon collections on various reviews. And I thought, why not? I'll just... You might as well, once you're committed you know, to the line, so, but let me know your thoughts, drop those comments in, and do the usual with the like, subscribe, and tickle that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others, but thanks for checking in on this one, and I will see you on the next, take care.